This is the easiest pair to trade. It can literally make you millions. What is good, my people? We are back again with another gem. Listen, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of the easiest pairs to trade. I get this question all the time, and I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I trade it, why I personally think it's one of the easiest pairs to trade, and how you guys can maximize on the gains with this one specific pair so if you're excited if you're ready smash the freaking like button big thank you to y'all we just hit 250,000 subscribers i gave myself that goal for the end of the year and we hit it halfway through the year which is absolutely amazing give yourselves a freaking hand clap because y'all are the goats but without further ado let's hop right into this banger so y'all can learn to make some money before we hop into the video, I got to give a huge freaking shout out to my students. This past week alone, I've had 12 people reach out to me and tell me that they are now fully funded. I'm not talking about one phase pass, two phase pass. They're fully funded. They're now making bank with their funded accounts, which is absolutely amazing. I'll throw some screenshots on the screen right now. Just shouting y'all out. I appreciate that. If you want to be a student of mine, if you want to learn how to trade, how I trade, learn all my strategies, get access to my golden arrow indicator, all that, hit the link inside my description down below. I'll also leave inside the comment section down below. And just because we hit 250K subs, I'm gonna give y'all a little promo code. Use the promo code that's on the screen right now, right down there, and they'll save you 20% on anything that you enroll in, indicator courses, anything at all, 20%, just because I appreciate and I love y'all. But without further ado, let's hop into these charts, man. All right, so I lied. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, I lied. I'm not gonna lie to you. That don't make no sense. But I lied. We're not in the charts right now. I gotta tell y'all something first. So NG, right? That is the pair that we're talking about. Natural gas. This pair, ever since I've been trading it, has been absolutely freaking paying me. My win rate with NG is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm going to dive into the exact strategy that I use for NG. Now, NG, I trade it as futures contracts using a platform called Tradeavate. Um, you can trade it on some Forex brokers as well. Uh, you just have to check with, the, with your Forex broker. If you want to know what Forex broker I use, there's a link for inside description down below. I've been using that literally since I started trading. I've, I don't think I've ever changed brokers, which is crazy. I feel like freaking Kobe stayed loyal to the same team. But um, it's called NG. It's natural gas. You're basically trading the price of natural gas and what it is shared as. So I'm going to show you guys on the charts how I trade it, why it's so smooth. I'm going to give you guys examples of trades I've actually taken. So now, let me not lie to y'all. Let's hop into these freaking charts. All right, so here we are on the charts. This was today. I caught an absolutely freaking beautiful sell on NG. It broke through uh, my trend line here and hit my full take profit. So NG moves slow, right? Now, I know a lot of you guys, you guys with that fast money, you want that money where it's, it's just, it comes, you you in profit in 30 seconds, you're gonna hit your full take profit. That's not NG. NG does not do that. It moves very sporadically as in the volume, but the, the price action moves so smoothly. When I tell you, you draw support and resistance zones, it's going to respect those zones as far as I have been testing. And I've been trading this pair for probably two months now, and I'm just now making a YouTube video about it. I was telling everybody inside my Discord about it. So they've been new about it, um, the students of mine that are in my Discord. But I'm just now doing it on YouTube because I've had so many people ask me about it because I'll be posting it on my story and everything like that. So I'm gonna break down exactly how I trade it, right? So if you guys don't know, I use Hakanashi candlesticks. I'm probably the only freaking trader on YouTube that uses Hakanashi candlesticks. I freaking love it. I don't know why everybody else doesn't use it. I think it's like an ego. I don't know what the heck it is with them. They got a serious problem. But Hakanashi candlesticks, I made a video about this a couple months ago about why Hakanashi candlesticks are just so freaking amazing. If you have not watched that video, go watch that video. But I love Hakanashi candlesticks. So we're on it right now. And basically, every single time at um, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time, NG gains a lot of volume and it literally likes to reverse from what it did during London session. Today is a bad example of it, but I'll show you examples from other days. But usually once this line passes, right, once seven o'clock comes into play, such seven o'clock central standard time, price likes to reverse and likes to stay in that direction for about three hours. After that, it reverses in the other way. So what do I mean by that? So let's say all of London session, we're coming up here. Price usually once it comes to seven o'clock central standard time, we were in an uptrend all the London session. It usually likes to switch and go into downtrend until around 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Then it will completely reverse to come up here. That's literally just a pattern that that NG makes. I don't know why it does it, but I just know that's literally what it does day in and day freaking out with the exception of maybe a couple of days. This is one of those exceptions where we had an uptrend during London. Um, it didn't reverse at seven. It usually reverses at seven o'clock, give or take 10 minutes. But this time I waited a little later, it reversed at literally 740. But what works perfectly for NG is when you zoom out 
and you draw your support and resistance zones at around, let's say, 6 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, you, look, you start looking for your zones where you're looking for price to reverse. And if if NG, and I'm going to say this, but don't, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not nothing, don't hold me to this. This is just what I've personally noticed. If NG ends up hitting your support zone or resistance zone at that 7 o'clock in the morning time, it's almost freaking guaranteed that it's going to reverse. I don't know what it is. Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't go and just hail marry all your money into that kind of trade. But that's just what it seems to do. It, that's just what it seems to do. I don't know why, but that's just what it seems to do. So um, this was a trade that I took today. This was a support zone that literally happened exactly like I told you guys. I drew this support zone um, I think two days before this actually happened and it came up to my zone at around seven o'clock and started hesitating around my zone. I got my candlestick here. I got my um, ultimate support and resistance strategy that I talked about inside my strategy course. I got that indication. I also got a golden arrow indicator, which made me even more confident inside of it. Hot inside the cell, went for my quick two to one. Bang, hit it beautifully. We did have news on NG this morning. That's why, I mean, after kind of that. Um, so that's why I did have this big wick right here, then it consolidated for the rest of the day, but absolutely beautiful trade, textbook, completely textbook. Um, now I'm going to show you some more trades, right? And more examples of what I'm talking about and how you can capitalize on NG. So actually the day before that, I lost two trades, which I, I, this is my first time ever trading NG where I lost two trades in one day on NG. Let's clap it up for that. NG freaking stole my money twice in one day. I love to see that. Um, so I lost two times on that. It's because I there was no support and resistance zone that it kind of went up to as far as that I wanted it to go to at seven o'clock. So I was trying to trade it after that time. Keep in mind, after around 10 o'clock Central Standard Time, NG does like to slow down. It's not going to stay hot all throughout the day. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to trade it. So this second trade I took here, I should not have taken it because this was at 12 o'clock. And I know from just trading it for so long that NG does not freaking move after 12 o'clock. It just does a bunch of stupidness and, and don't trade it. It's not worth trading it at all. But let's go to the day before that. So literally the exact thing, same thing happened that I told y'all. We're in a downtrend all of London session. I drew this support zone that lined up with this zone over here. I drew it um, as soon as I saw the charts at around six o'clock, 6.30 um, this morning right here. Price came down here at 7.15, right? 7.20. It came here. I got my super, um, my ultimate support and resistance strategy indicator right on this green candlestick, rolled it all the way up here. I'm telling you, this happens day after day after day. We were in downtrend after London session, reversed, we're in an uptrend. And then literally at 10 o'clock, literally at 10 o'clock, it reversed again. Like I told y'all, it goes up, it will reverse, then it'll reverse again. Then three hours after we get this, um, three hours after the New York session starts, it reverses again. It's just, I'm telling y'all, it just does that every freaking day. I don't know what it is, why it does it, but it just does it, right? This is another per literal perfect example, right? We were in a downtrend in London session. We had a support zone right here. Seven o'clock came. It hit that support zone, completely reversed back up. Now, I was more aggressive with my take profit here. I went for a very big trade, um, and it didn't end up hitting it until literally the next morning. Um, but literally the same as that, if I had went inside the same exact trade and just had a smaller take profit, it would have hit right here at 10 o'clock, reversed and went to the downside. I can't make this up. I don't make the charts. I'm just telling y'all the patterns that I see with NG. It happens all the time. This is why I titled this video one of the easiest pairs to trade. I just gave y'all sauce. I just gave y'all the most valuable freaking sauce y'all could ever have trading NG. 7 o'clock hits, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. If it's at a support or resistance zone that you have drawn, and it's the same it's going in a downtrend and it goes to that support zone, and you get one of my candlesticks that I personally consider a reversal candlestick going to the upside, money, like print, like that's not print, but it literally just prints money. You know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Here, right now, another example, right? So this one is, was a little bit different. So we had a floor right here, right? It was respecting this floor all throughout the end of the last day. It broke through it here. Then we had a support break and then a retest. Seven o'clock, it retested that support zone that it made right here. It started making an uptrend. And as soon as it rejected this support zone, this, 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 um, this support break and, break and retest, I got my candlestick I wanted with the golden arrow. I freaking bet my whole life on this trade. That's cap. I actually didn't even risk that much because there was no <laughs> there was no price action this low for a while. So I didn't know where to put my my 
take profits. Oh, I went to the wrong place. So I didn't know where to put my take profits. So I really didn't risk that much at all. But I just went for until um, the Hakanashi Candlesticks gave me a change of color. So it was about a 1 to 2.6 uh, risk to reward ratio on this trade right here. I can literally show you all trade after trade after trade where the same thing happens. London session, if it's going down at around 7 o'clock central, central standard time, if it hits a support and resistance zone at around that time, give or take 20 minutes, and you get that reversal candle, it's most likely going to continue in that reversal direction. Then three hours later, it's going to reverse and go the other way. I don't know why it does it. It just does it. And I had to share this with y'all. So that's why I decided to make this video, putting y'all on game to the pair that really nobody trades, the pair that nobody talks about, the pair that I don't even know why people don't talk about it. This thing is probably, I, I know why they don't talk about it because it moves slow. But if it, it, listen, slow and steady wins the race. That's what they told you back in kindergarten or whatever grade they told you that. Kindergarten, you don't really run in kindergarten. I don't know. They told you that some way, but slow, slow and steady wins the race. That's why I like it. It's slow. It's boring, but it prints freaking money. But that is the end of the video. That is me sharing with you guys the secret pair that nobody talks about. The pair that can help you and your help your trading immensely. If you have any ounce of patience, this can bless your life. Just think about watch this video over and over again. Understand the way it moves, especially at that time. Um, and when it reverses, then it reverses again a little bit later. Just watch this video back to back to back if you don't understand it because this thing can literally change your life it'll make trading very very simple for you as long as you have patience um but if you enjoyed the video i highly suggest but if you enjoyed the video i would greatly appreciate if you smash the freaking like button if you're not subscribed already you have to be subscribed man with the post notifications on because i drop steady bangers i drop straight gems every video i put out is super valuable and can help you reach the next level in your trading in your business in your mindset and whatever it is i'm just here to help and you want to see the videos when i'm putting them out but um yeah i would greatly appreciate that and also if y'all want to stay up to date with like my day-to-day -day life my trades that i'm sometimes i'm posting trades on instagram and all that stuff hit over there it's somewhere up there at juber underscore i don't know which corner it is i don't think i'll ever know i've never i've not known for years at this point that i've been shooting videos but it's somewhere up there it's at juber underscore and if you want to learn how to trade how i trade man if you want to learn the type of strategies that i use in-depth knowledge on the strategies hit the link um inside my description or there's a link inside the comment section down below if you're a complete beginner to training and you don't know nothing about it we have courses and education for you there as well if you want to get into crypto on DeFi, we have courses and education there for you as well and make sure to use the promo code right there to claim 20 percent off on any course that you want to enroll in any course you'll also get access to the discord and the community which is literally priceless i should be charging monthly fees for the discord but i don't um because it's i i just love the people in there it's just good vibes in there. i'm not gonna lie to you but that is the end of the video good luck on all your trades good luck on all your crypto good luck on life as a whole man i'm gonna see you on the next video you know what the next video should be i really think that you should watch this video right here because this video will dramatically help you when it comes to just trading overall this is when i talk about haikinashi candlesticks i highly suggest you watch that video it can change your trading literally forever with one simple step that video right there i'm gonna see you on next video